Hello everybody, today I'm going to teach you exactly step by step how I do my copyright check, trademark check so you can be sure that um, your designs won't be suspended, your uh, actually account won't be banned uh, and it's going to be, I'm going to use Redbubble as an example but it really can be used to all the print on demand website to use so it's going to work on Merch by Amazon, it's going to, or actually Amazon Merch right now it's also going to work on Tpublic, Zazzle, anything as the law and does not change depending on the website obviously and today yeah um i was using redbubble popular tags to find like a one good niche as an example uh, and maybe let's use this one right so we have a niche called um read books drink coffee dismantle system of oppression all right and um, we're gonna copy this one and actually paste it into TM Hand. If you don't know what TM Hand is, TM Hand is a website for clothing trademarks. You can check exactly if any of the keywords you're using is already trademarked and it taking information from the uh, government site of United States uh, where you can find all of the registered trademarks. And this one is specifically made for trademark type 25. If you don't know, trademark type 25 is an exact trademark for clothing. So we have like um, separate trademarks for clothing, for probably like um, mugs, for um, sportwear or shoes, boots. So these all have a different type of trademarks. And what we really want to focus on is a trademark number 25. This is a clothing one. Um, so yeah, I'm going to paste it. And like the really important thing here, I was not aware of that I was usually doing a multi search here, just clicking on search. And yeah, as you can see, there is no trademark. I was also doing a partial match. Yeah, no trademark. But what's really important here is that you need to copy this phrase and use a split search as a good indicator if something is really already registered or not. So right now we're going to click on search. And as you can see, you've got like a bunch of keywords that uh, show up here. So I'm going to quickly explain you what really happens. Um, so in a split search, TM Hunt take actually every word or every combination of words separately. So you'll always get some results here and how to analyze them and how to actually see if it is really trademarked or not. So I'm going to show you right away. We've got this keyword, read books, drink coffee, dismantle system of oppression, all right? And actually the trademarks are coffee, coffee, read, off, and as you can see, some of them are dead, which means the trademark is no longer like available, it's no longer registered, so you can use this keyword. Um, we also have some of them with the status live. This one is read and off. And here is a really important thing, like not every keyword that's gonna show up live here is gonna be trademarked. So, for example, to give you like a um, super simple example, if I'm gonna create a t-shirt with the um, quote and I'm gonna, let's let's just like come up with some um, random quotes. So I'm gonna just um, create something like, I love my car, yeah? So if you're gonna create a t-shirt with the quote, I love my car, we're gonna click on search right now and as you can see we can actually find a bunch of uh, trademarks here uh, that are live currently so we've got the word love we've got um, the letter i and also maybe something else my and car is probably also registered so i'm not even gonna look for that but it does not mean you cannot use such quote on a t-shirt it's because you cannot take from the words the original value, the original meaning. So um, if, for example, every single uh, word from this sentence would be forbidden to use, we would really quickly run out of any keyword that would not be copyrighted. Yeah. So you can be sure that you can use something like I love my car. But if, for example, um, here, there will be a trademark for my car 
it would be kind of a different story as my car is a combination of words so if the combination of words is registered it probably means you cannot use it on a t-shirt or, or any other print-on-demand um, product so I'm gonna also give you other example why we should use a split search instead of a multi search that mostly people are um, using this option yeah I'm gonna just copy this phrase or maybe not this one let's find like a new brand new keyword so you have a real example I beg okay maybe not, not a lot going on at this moment let's let's do this one not a lot going on at the moment we're gonna copy the key phrase from here paste it into TM hunt and we're gonna click on search and as you can see there was actually a trademark registered for this exact quote and it's uh, with a dead status so it means it's no longer available but uh, we're gonna do something like cool here not a lot going on at the moment and we're gonna type um, maybe for example stranger things all right so, so something really random here so we've got not a lot going on at the moment but um, between these words there's also a stranger things let's click on search and as you can see tm hand now says there are no data available in the table so you may think wow this i can use this phrase and even if we click on it yeah we are on a partial match already so on exact match there probably is no chance something's gonna show up but if we copy this phrase and paste it into split search and now click on search and let's like use 100 results per page and give me only the status life okay we don't want a dead status because it doesn't mean anything for us so um we're gonna skip the letter a that's for sure and we're gonna go through this list it's probably all a's uh currently and uh, still all a's all a's all, oh and you've got the stranger things is obviously a name of the series of the netflix series so you cannot create such design actually this is quite a bad example as right now if you may know redbubble has a fan art program related to netflix series so you can apply with your work of stranger things any kind of fan art to redbubble and it can be accepted but okay let's let's use another one like for example i love my car as we used previously but i'm gonna put um maybe um the walking dead all right so also the name of the series and i believe this one is not in a fan art program on redbubble so i love my the walking dead car okay it sounds kind of funny and right now and right now we're gonna do once again multi-search so i'm gonna click on search here no data available in the table we're gonna click on a partial match search no data available in the table and right now we're gonna use a split search as previously click on search and as you can see we've got a couple of results here so once again 100 results per page status only live we're we gonna go um through all of them the walking dead as you can see walking dead text design not registered not sure why it says not registered uh, but as you can see the status is live second page maybe also it's gonna come on second page no but as you can see the phrase the walking dead is already registered so you cannot use it on your print on demand product and this is really important to take care and i actually remember one time using a phrase life is good which was apparently trademark and i didn't know about it and it was like I found a really good niche on Amazon or it was Redbubble, don't quite remember right now, but um, I found a niche that says life is good. So I went to a multi-search on TM Hunt and I typed probably something like um, lovely, funny, um, life is good shirt or, or something, something like that and click on search. As you can see, no data available in the table so I was so happy, a really good niche with a super good results, low competition, and it's not trademarked. And also try to check the exact match here. 
nothing is gonna show up but if you gonna copy this phrase and paste it into split search so i'm gonna lovely funny life is good shirt click on search and as you can see life is good is already registered trademark even since 1996 so for a really long period of time and this is really important so just right now like a general conclusion from this video if you are using like a single word um, that you cannot take its original value you cannot take its original meaning from the sentence you can use it on your print-on-demand product so the word like for example for example house apple car these are the words we need to create sentences with and they cannot be trademarked straight on everything yeah but for example if you are using a combination of words so even if these words have like original meaning you cannot take it from them but they are in a combination they are connected to each other so for example pretty house blue apple or something like this so blue apple can be a name for some company and you cannot use it on print on demand it's better to not use it on print on demand so i believe right now trademarks on a print on demand are a little bit more clear for you i uh, hope you have a great rest of your day watch out do not infringe anybody's rights while you're doing your designs on print on demand Thank you for watching this video, see you next time, bye bye.